up till now, pesticides, unfortunately, have mostly been targeted at uh, targets that are shared by uh, insects and, unfortunately, people, uh, hummingbirds, and everything in between. And so here, we think for the first time, we're on the trail of something that will go after a unique feature of a vulnerable insect target, an enzyme that's vital to insect survival and kill insects while, uh, if we're right, uh, being completely harmless to you and me and babies and cousins and, and the hummingbirds. Um, if we're right, that's what we'll get. The aphids, the soybean aphids in particular, are, uh, I guess you call them a virulent species, and they are uh, exploding in numbers across the upper Midwest. And there was a time when soybean fields were virtually free of these pests, but uh, they've become a worse and worse problem in succeeding years. Uh, my colleagues at the Agricultural School uh, in St. Paul uh, tell me that uh, last year was the worst on record, and we have uh, very few effective control measures. Uh, there are really no specific pesticides. Um, the ones that we do have are only partially effective uh, for short periods of time. Resistance is a terrible problem, and uh, they're desperate for something new. So this research was launched with funding from what we call the Minnesota Partnership for Biotechnology and Medical Genomics. And uh, so this is a case where uh, what we're attempting simply would be impossible for any one of the three participating labs, two of them here at Mayo and one at the U be impossible for any one of these groups or for both labs at Mayo to do without the able assistance and actually leading role of University of Minnesota in bringing this to into the real world. So we're able to take uh, our ideas and, and validate them with computers, simulations, with biochemistry, the protein level. We're able to extract uh, target uh, enzymes from these species, measure them, we can demonstrate that this concept is, is feasible in principle, but it can't go any further without someone who really knows insects, a, a professional grade entomologist who can bring this uh, compound into a controlled laboratory environment and test it against uh, real pest species, and then, assuming it's promising, take it out into the field and show that it will work in a real life setting. So it's definitely a partnership.